Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham City Rabbit Hole Batman. A really cool figure. I'm not a big fan of um, how it seems every wave with uh, with the Arkham City figures, we got a new Batman. Uh, however, having said that, out of all the Batmans they've released, this is the one I was the most excited about to pick up. Obviously, the uh, Mad Hatter levels in the Arkham City game were uh, a fantastic, uh, fantastic series of events. A little bit similar to, I guess, the Scarecrow type levels. Um, I thought it was really cool. This guy looks really cool, and uh, I'm very excited to get him opened up. He does come in the standard cow packaging, uh, which all the figures have. At the top there, obviously, the Wonder Tower, which uh, features a main role in the Arkham City game. Taking a look at the back of the packaging, we see the other figure in the set is, of course, Two-Face, another great uh, Batman character, and then at the bottom, a generic read-up on Arkham City. Okay, and here we have Rabbit Hole Batman out of the packaging, and he is a very, very cool figure. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other Batman figure reviews, make sure you do that. Uh, in terms of accessories, this guy does come with a clock, which I'll try and zoom in for you. Lots of nice details, even just the inside, you can see they've gone to the trouble of putting all the little mechanisms and everything on the clock, which is really nice to see. In terms of the figure's face, you can see a really sinister looking Batman there. Obviously, once he gets uh, under the mind control of the Mad Hatter, it was a great, great level in the game. Really nice detail on this figure. You can see he's uh, gritting his teeth together. Really nice. Uh, moving down, just so much detail on this guy. You can see all the, the battle damage from being beat up and having, uh, obviously, the long night in uh, Arkham City. Nice detail on the utility belt as well. Lots of cool scuff marks, and uh, you can definitely tell that this Batman's been beat up. Really, really nice. Taking a look at the back of the figure as well, he does come with the standard Batman cape. And, of course, underneath that as well, some nice detail. So here I've got the two Arkham City Batman figures next to each other. You can see, obviously, uh, Batman at the start of the game when he's uh, been poisoned by the Joker as opposed to Batman by the end. Uh, he's obviously been through a lot, quite beat up. But uh, what an awesome figure. The level of detail they've gone to, uh, you know, just putting the damage in there and, and making him look beat up. Out of all the Batman figures I've come across uh, and all the variants, you know, whether it be Detective Mode Batman or Infected Batman... Uh, or Armoured Batman. This one's probably my favourite. Uh, probably the most detailed as well. He's got the same articulation as the uh, normal Batman. Ball jointed head. Uh, arms bent at the elbow. Swivel in the forearm. No movement in the waist. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame. Movement obviously in the legs, knees. And then swivel in the feet. So a really cool figure. If you get a chance to pick him up. Absolutely. This guy's a must have. 